Good morning YouTube. Our topic today is on Python programming for life sciences. If you are new here, welcome. We are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic for today. Introduction to Python. If you find that you are still relying mainly on spreadsheets and electronic calculators for data analysis, and distractions such as eating and sleeping are hindering your scientific progress, you may be at risk of becoming a data zombie. Well, we have Python that you can pick up. Python is a high-level, interpreted programming language that is widely used for a variety of purposes, including web development, scientific computing, data analysis, and artificial intelligence. With its simple and intuitive syntax, Python is a popular choice for both beginners and experienced programmers. Life Sciences Python programming has become increasingly popular in the field of life sciences due to its versatility, ease of use, and growing number of libraries and tools specifically designed for life science applications. Python is used for a variety of tasks in life sciences, such as data analysis, visualization, and modeling. Its simple syntax and extensive libraries make it a great choice for working with large and complex data sets. In addition, its open source nature means that it is easily accessible to all researchers and allows for collaboration and sharing of code between different groups. Ease of learning. One of the main advantages of Python is its readability. The language is designed to be easy to read and write, making it a great choice for beginners who are just getting started with programming. Python's syntax is also less complex than many other programming languages, which makes it easier to learn and use. Versatility Another advantage of Python is its versatility. The language can be used for a wide range of applications, from web development to scientific computing. In addition, Python has a large and active community of users and developers, which means that there are a wealth of resources available for learning and troubleshooting. Installation of Python To get started with Python, you will need to install a Python interpreter. There are several free and open source interpreters available, including the official Python interpreter, which is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Once you have an interpreter installed, you can start writing and running Python programs. To get started, you can write simple programs that print messages to the screen or that perform basic calculations. As you become more comfortable with the language, you can start working on more complex programs such as web applications or scientific simulations. User friendliness. One of the great things about Python is that it is easy to learn and use, but it is also a powerful language that is capable of handling complex tasks. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced programmer, Python is a great choice for anyone who wants to start coding or who wants to expand their programming skills. Being proficient in coding can greatly benefit a life researcher, however, it is not commonly taught in life science programs at colleges. As a busy researcher, it may seem challenging to carve out time to learn coding, but the good news is that it's not a difficult skill to pick up. Let's start learning. In conclusion, Python is a high-level, interpreted programming language that is easy to learn and use. With its simple syntax, versatility, and large community of users and developers, Python is a great choice for anyone who wants to get started with programming or who wants to expand their skills. With its growing popularity in life sciences, learning Python can be an valuable asset for life scientists looking to improve their data analysis skills.